I got it. What's up guys? My name is Megan. I'm the owner and artist of Lolo Rose Design. This is an unboxing video for all my DIY people. I got the Ryobi 10 inch miter saw, but I also got a stand from Walmart, or not Walmart, pff, Amazon. Um, it has wheels, because the one at um, Home Depot didn't have wheels. So uh, come with me on a grand adventure, learning how to use it together. <laughs> Instruction manual. Here, I actually read instruction manuals, so we're gonna read it real fast. This product has been specifically designed to assist you in the use of your 10 to 12 inch miter saw. Cool, so I bought the right one, so that's a good sign. So in the instructions it tells me to install the legs but mine already came with the legs installed and I just set them up and now it wants me to put the outrigger supports which it looks like in the instructions are these in the holes on each side. So it also looks like these are supposed to go in the hole right here and then there is another hole right here um, that way they can stop it where you want it to and it will like lock it into place okay so up next on the instructions it tells me to basically take these and install them onto the saw um, I'm gonna wait and do that because the saw is not open or ready yet, but I want to install the wheels before I install the saw because that makes more sense to me. So I'm skipping ahead and I'm gonna install the wheels with the hardware and do that. the 10 inch Ryobi miter saw. I got the one that um, extends out. I think it's like 12 inches or so just so I can cut larger boards so it basically like slides out and you can cut and go back in. Cool right? All right so we got all the parts out. This is all that it came with. From what I have gathered you're gonna have these pieces. These are for machinery or like a miter saw that has an offset pattern. This particular miter saw is not offset so I won't be needing these and this guy this like locking clamp will go in the back so it's got to go basically like this on either side to mount the miter saw to these mounting braces that go on the stand so <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now that we have it all set up, I'm very much a visual person, so I actually looked at a few videos before I bought this, and then I also read the instructions, but we're going to go through all the different parts of this so that you're not so, like, confused at all the buttons and stuff, because I get pretty overwhelmed when I buy a new power tool that I've never used before, so this is new for me too, but I'm just going to have the courage to do it, okay? Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you guys is what's called the depth control tool. You see these got this little thing, it slides back and forth. So when you pull it down and it goes all the way down, it hits that and you can see that that's the stopping point. But if we were to move it and then the screw stops it. And that is called the depth control. So next up, I'm gonna show you this. So this guy, right, you turn in, it unlocks it and then you grab this handle and then you can move it to the desired angle. So that is at zero and then you just twist it to lock it in place so that way even if, see I can't move it. This piece back here controls this movement here. So if you don't want it to slide or it's a certain uh, length that you want it at, you can control it using that. This button here is when you have to change the blade, then you can like control the spin on it. That is going to be outlined in your instruction manual under assembly. Mine came with the blade assembled, so I didn't go through it, but it does tell you how to change the blade when it comes time. So if you have a bunch of wood, right? It says you're not supposed to put your hand here. A lot of people do, I've seen in videos, but it gives you this cool safety tool that you can put here and also on the other side and it's a clamp to keep your wood in place another cool thing is is it comes with a little a little allen key look at that with a little phillips screwdriver at the end and it has its own little place so you never lose it because i think it just knows us all so well that we lose stuff so this thing here is a dust collector that's where this dust bag goes on i think it just sort of like turns and comes on. This is my non-dominant hand, so we're not going to try that, but yeah, that is what that is. If yours came with a laser guide, that guy is going to be right here. You can see when they get turned on and off. That is the laser guide, and it's hard to show it without a piece of wood there, but I just want to show you everything is first. Okay, this guy, this is called a fence. Look, I'm learning these things too. And this guy is like a sliding fence. We'll figure what he can do later. Another thing, oh my cord. So you can actually lock this down if you were to press it all the way down. Here is this little button. You just like push him in. It locks it down for storage reasons. Isn't that so cool? They're coming up with great things. So to get them out, I just have to press down the saw, pull it out and he lifts back up. Okay, so the bevel part of this whole thing is basically where this can tilt and then it like will cut it at an angle. So not only can it cut it at like a straight corner, a straight like angle, you can also cut it at a degree. So to do that, it's this guy back here. I know it took me forever to find this out. I was like playing with it. So you have to push him all the way back, right? So he's all the way extended, and then I locked him into place, and then you just, look at that, look, and then when you cut, see, you can, you can get in there, I think, well, that's concerning, we'll figure out why it's doing that, because I'm sure if it, I'm having a problem with it, you are as well. This is at, not even at the fullest, so a 45 degree angle, let's tighten him, and we'll see what happens. Okay. I feel like at that point he should have cut. Right? Because, like, look, it's hitting it. Hmm. Questions. I guess we'll have to find out when we, when we put her to the test, huh? So we asked the husband, because, I mean, he doesn't really use power tools either, but we collaborated as a team. Basically, You'll just have to like move it by hand is what we've determined. Maybe it's a manufacturing flaw. 
I don't really know. Oh, it's the clamp. The clamp. This. That was stopping it. I'm not gonna lie, that was super, super terrifying, but we did it. We could do hard things. And I think, I mean, it's just like when I first started using my jigsaw, I was terrified of my jigsaw. Now I'm like reckless, which I probably shouldn't announce that on the internet, but oh well. We're gonna try some angle cuts, see how it goes, and then I think this will complete the video. Okay, we're gonna do 15 degrees. I think that looks like 15 degrees. Okay, so we're going to adjust this and we're gonna do 15 degrees because like, you know, why not? What's the proper way to show you this? Like that? There we go. You can see the degree. It's a little small one. Small one. But there you go. 15 degrees, so. I wanted to film this video being 100% like authentic and honest. Like I didn't want to do like a bunch of practices and then act like I knew what I was doing with this miter saw. It's scary using something that can kill you and that can seriously maim you. But having a little bit of fear is okay and it, and it shouldn't stop you having a power tool in your household is never a bad thing you will be surprised that once you start getting accustomed to using power tools the possibilities of doing stuff to your own house is just completely endless and this is another way to create so i hope you guys really did enjoy this video mm -hmm.